we're going to do a lot more finessing with brown and white. Instead of sitting down like I was in the last video and the first part of this video, um, I decided to stand up. I always do my painting standing up and for this painting I thought it would be kind of fun to do it sitting down so I could have everything in front of me, um, but I found that I was sort of avoiding going into that space on my studio floor <laughs> uh, because it was so different. I'm so used to standing and standing for hours at a time and painting and I found that I was working uh, with less confidence as I sat there on the carpet. So I've moved us back up to the standing position and that's how I will finish this painting. Um, also the camera and the palette and the rags and the little cup of water and the brushes kind of all got in the way being on my on my studio floor. So. So now we're, we're back to the way it always is for me, which feels wonderful, and I look forward to uh, flowing through this painting with you. So the brown and white is done now, pretty much, and, and I, I finessed quite a bit. Um, I admit there's, you know, of course a lot more finessing that will come, but I'm in the mood to begin adding warmth to the skin, so I'm going to... Um, start with my whites and my and my transparent reds and uh, get the warmth into the skin. I can already feel myself working more confidently and quickly with the standing position. just works so much better for me to be standing and more f movement, more ability to move and flow. And But it was nice to try something new. It was nice to try something new, but... It's good to stand. passion and energy and in, but there's also a quite a bit of amount of intensity I'm you know I, I know this I know this because of all the paintings I've created that there's a actually a tremendous amount of intensity and and I suppose it's the intensity that allows me to stand here on my little carpet and paint for you know two three four five hours at a time if there wasn't intensity and there wasn't drive, and there wasn't this urge bubbling up from within to create this, it would probably never happen. I mean, if I was creating paintings because I had in my head that, oh, you know, someone might want to buy this, then it would just never happen. It just doesn't work that way. It's, it's so much more than that. And uh, it's these paintings coming out of the brush because they just literally need to be here and and if you've watched the other videos of, of the painting process, you probably have noticed that I'm, 
I'm fairly intense when I'm working on these because there's something within me and, and within the universe, I guess, that's just yanking these out of me. So I don't mean to get all weird and woo-woo on you, but at the same time, there's something that just keeps the brush moving. And, and I'm not a real, you know, I'm not a human with a lot of physical endurance. I mean, I can't jog for, you know, 10 miles. I can jog for maybe two miles. But, you know, there's an endurance that, um, when it comes to painting that I don't have when it comes to, like, other physical, physical things. And I think it's because, you know, deep down I know that, you know, I am absolutely grown to be doing this. This is just, and I, and I love it so much. And I hope that, I just really hope that there's something in your life that you love so much that, that you can work on it for hours. And if you don't have anything, maybe you can, maybe you can find something. Or if there is something that you love that you don't give yourself that time to work on, maybe you can, you know, maybe this week you can give yourself a little more time to work on it. If it's sewing or reading or writing or planning something, maybe planning, planning a building or, you know, planning the design of a, of a building or a house or, um, cross stitching or you know art of some sort you know sculpting or drawing or writing a children's book um or just some idea that you have that you think will make the world a better place you know i hope that if you have something that fires you up and that you could work on for hours and that truly gives you a joy that doesn't come from anywhere else i, I really hope that you'll indulge indulge that or if the urge to paint and I turn on music or sometimes you know podcasts or um, something and I just paint for hours until my feet hurt and I don't even know where the time goes but I'm a happier person because of it and I'm a better mom because I know that once my babies are tucked in at night I have something that I do and, and I feel like I'm doing it just for me but I know that I'm not you guys have told me that I'm not I'm not doing it just for me anymore I'm doing it because I have to do it, but at the same time, it's touching you as well. And I think anything we put our heart into, that we put our passion into, and we truly feel has a purpose, I think it can't help but not touch other people. So hopefully you can find that which is yours and, and uh, let me know what it is. And give yourself permission to work on it. Give yourself permission to to indulge in that which brings you joy. There's no reason. Nobody ever said we had to work, 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 and, and nobody ever said we had to be miserable. No one ever said it had to be hard. So, I hope you can find that. Maybe you'll paint with me. Maybe you're painting right now. Maybe we're painting together. <laughs>